Hey guys, it's Erin. I'm back with another video reaction, and this one is the full album that just got released by Joyna Lucas, Not Now, I'm Busy. 17 songs. Let's get started. And by the way, this is my first time doing it on Spotify, so. <laughs> first song is Put Me Up. Put Me On. Put Me On. Intro for you niggas, put my beat on. Yeah. Take them bullshit rappers out your playlist and put me on. This the type of shit to blow the speakers out your neon. Uh. Not right now, I'm busy. Hold on, call me. I'm on B Mom. Hit me when the D gone. Uh. Man, the block is hot. This ain't no street for you to speed on. Uh. Ever since the young, I always knew one day I'd be on. Sick and tired of struggling. I know this ain't where I belong. No, this ain't where I belong. Remember, they all laughed at me when I put my CD on. Now I make some ends like some peons show these pussy niggas i got silver in the bleed on and tonight i'm getting my freak on broke up with my hoe cause she too hard for me to cheat on way too many fishes in the sea for me to feed on i got me some hold up wait to keep it 100 i never give up and it's probably cause i got no patience if i gotta bully my way in this bitch and i'm doing whatever it's taking but just when i feel like i'm growing it seems all my niggas are still in the same shit funny i'm thinking it's probably the women that make all these niggas complacent i'm walking around on my mansion i'm thinking about days that i lived in a but I never changed in my circle, I'm still in the building with niggas I came with And look at the moves the nigga was making I should have been on the news for all of the rules the nigga was breaking I know I'm leaving their stomach and not I live my life like a demon, I wonder if Jesus still love me or not I try to keep them from putting their hands on the stove when the oven is hot This ought to be the best version of me when they want me to be stuck in a box I ain't got time to fuck with the clock, I'm ducking the fans, I'm running the block I'm feeling like Pac and Juice, I'm jumping on roofs with niggas with running from cops I swear to the right, the word of advice, so never pretend to be something you're not Intro for you niggas, put my beat on. Take them bullshit rappers out your playlist and put me on. This the type of shit to blow the speakers out your knees on. Not right now, I'm busy. Oh, don't call me, I'm on Pima. Just hit me when the D on. Man, the black is hot. It's ain't no shit for you to speed on. Ever since the young, I always knew one day I'd be on. Sick and tired of struggling. I know this ain't where I belong. This ain't where I belong. I go TLC all in your bitch and get my creep on. Watch your fucking tone, I'm not the one for you to speak on. I got on Celine, you rockin' Celine Dion. <sighs> That's the shit you be on. I just turn your bird into an ex, I feel like Elon. She ain't buy my album, tell that hoe to get us. That was actually good. He turned your ex, turned your bird into an ex, like Twitter, an ex, Elon. That was actually really good. He's got, <clears throat> I've got a stuffed up throat. Um. He's got really good lines. I like this guy. Like, I, I loved him before, but I was so excited when I found out he had this this album coming, and I like this one. Featuring on your shit, you better dream on. Not right now, I'm busy when I tell them when they keep on. This the type of shit to blow the speakers out your neon. Take them bullshit rappers out your playlist and put me on. Put me on. You don't want to die of cold, toll free. Oh, how the hell do I turn this camera on? Sounds like me. Here we go, I think I got it. So my name is Jordan Lucas. All right, guys. <clears throat> that is the first one off the album, Not Now, I'm Busy, and it's called Put Me On. It was basically his intro. Basically, he's like... Don't mess with anybody else. Just deal with him. Listen, join a Lucas. I'm really excited about this album. I like a lot of his other albums. Um, so the next one is I'm Ill. I'm Ill. Let's go. Can you feel the beat within my heart? Can you see my love shine through the dark? Yeah, shit right here, but... Wait, that's like that song. Like that Spanish song. 
I know you know, guys know what I'm talking about. I'm literally drawing a blank. I can't even think of anything. Uh, she has like curly hair. Gloria Stefan? Gloria Stefan. That literally sounded like a sample from it. But it wasn't her. I could tell that wasn't her. I'm going to get in my motherfucking zone. <laughs> Yeah, I got 99 problems, but a bitch could never be one. Stressing about hoes that'll never be fun. Break a bitch heart, then step on each one. Better tell Ice Spice I can never be a munch. Talking my shit till my enemies come. Circle in a block, I can never be spun. I done did shit you ain't never seen done. Now I'm laying on the bread, I'm a sesame bun. I got loose change. I'm a bad motherfucker like Bruce Wayne. In a moose saying, New Year, new me, this a new man. Put my new son name on a new chain. Whoever told you they ain't listen to me, but they told a lot of y'all I'm coming to get the shit that I need. If you think you got it all, I'm win a Grammy at least. Let me get the popping off and hit the red carpet and creep with a fucking monotone. Throw that motherfucker to peace to make a monologue. It wanted to make it tough for me, but as long as I'm a ball, put these rap niggas to sleep. I don't need a talent all. Fuck the world. I got a reason to take the cotton ball. Shit is deeper than deep. I'm gonna tell you right now, like, he's giving me like Eminem vibes. Like, he's really rapping fast, clear, and bars after bar, and like. He's giving me a minute vibes. This is actually, I really, really like this. two for two not now I'm busy so far it's a win that was I'm ill that was really really good like I said I don't know I feel like that was a Gloria Stefan from like the 80s um sample and it went so well like listen he's going hard on these he's really going hard on these he sounds a little mad or just over everything um you know we all get like that but that was really really good okay so far uh, oh, I want to rate these. Okay, put me on. We're going to do a rating guide. One out of ten, right? Ten being the best. Put me on. I'd do that a seven. I'm ill. I'm ill is going to get like a 9.3. Yeah, that was really, really good. Uh, I want to see which one's going to beat that because the combination of his rapping and her chorus, that was fire. All right, the next one is waiting on this. Let's go. Why can't I play the current song? Uh, guys, why? All right, fingers crossed. I fixed it. We'll see. All right, so this one's waiting on this. Let's go. 
the times I told these niggas stop playing with me, go play with your kids. I don't want to hear no opinions from people who still got dreams of making it big. I don't really care about what you would do if you had this bread or the things you would get. If you was me, you wouldn't work this hard. You don't know how long I've been waiting on this. I'm way too busy to hate on a bitch who bigger time look like she banking on tips. I came up for nothing, was laying on bricks and sleeping in battles and paying no rent. Everyone loves you and fame don't exist. When I made a million, they said it, I switched. My watch is too pricey, my chain is on lit. My diamonds are icy, I'm skating on this. <laughs> skating like Gretzky back in the 80s and running from 12. But that isn't pretty, you niggas is jail. But that isn't faze me, I keep to myself if that's what it takes me. The day that you bastards will play me, it'd be the same day me and Jennifer Lopez announced that we gon' be having a baby. I have some twins, the two in the back. You want the fame, but you ain't last. The difference between me and you is you trash. I'm really a hundred, you're doing too bad. If I'm at a 10, then you like a 2. If you was a 10, then I'd be 200 divided by 2. I'm too good at math. Look. They got me started. I'm back on my shit again. She got a fatty. I thought about hitting it. Hit it for practice. Like, I've been auditioning. Cut a bitch out, but she started to bigger it. Cut a bitch out with the scissors they use when they open the business. And cut the red ribbon with nigga. I'm ignorant. Too many times I told these niggas, stop playing with me. Go play with your kids. I don't want to hear no opinions from people. Said, stop playing with me. Go play with your kids. Listen, this sounds like it's like, listen, Joyner doesn't have to prove anything to anybody. Like, he is established, you know, everybody loves him. But, like, this sounds like a, an album so far that he's just, like, trying to tell everybody, like, shut the F up and, like, you know, let me do my thing. You know, he's the best, you know. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I really like this. Oh, guys, I just realized that the back key, like, you know, the arrow key does not work on Spotify like it does on YouTube. So the going back a little bit is going to be a little tricky, but I do want to go back a second. Okay, let's go. Too many times I told these niggas stop playing with me, go play with your kids. I don't want to hear no opinions from people who still got dreams of making it big. I don't really care about what you would do if you had this bread or the things you would get. If you was me, you wouldn't work this hard. You don't know how long I've been waiting on this. Mm. I've been waiting on this. Devil in the booth, I'm sitting on this. Don't touch the stove, I'm begging on this. I'm Freddie, I'm Mike, I'm Chucky, I'm jizzing on this. Rose in life, you shaking on this. Got some for a fuck, nigga, hating on this. Look, all my celebrity crushes, I hit them already. Niggas be mad cause I did it already. I told them they short of my dinner already. And I did it all and ain't shit you could tell me. Why what I want ain't shit you could give me. Got plenty of Benjis, but now it's more money, more problems. I should have listened to Biggie. And this type of living is not for beginners. You kind of losers, do not make decisions. Try to be cool, but I'm not for the business. I got the shooters like rock, paper, scissors. I keep the shooters like rock, paper, scissors. I made the choice, it was not a decision. I'm not going to listen to rappers who sound like broke records. But no, you did not make the Guinness. I'm highly offended. Only way you niggas gonna get to where you wanna be, you gotta be a gimmick And even if you made it to the bottom of the pit and try to climb up to the top, you know it'll probably be a minute Niggas always wonder how I'm feeling and I tell them that I feel like I gotta play the fucking lottery and hit it And if a bitch want me, she gotta be a tenant if she's sending me selfies, they gotta be explicit Join them. Too many times I told these niggas, stop playing with me, go play with your kids I don't wanna hear no opinions from people who still got dreams of making it big I don't really care about what you would do if you had this bread and the things you would get If you was me, you wouldn't work this hard, you don't know how long I've been waiting on this Wait. This is a good one. I've been waiting on this. Devil in the booth, I'm sitting on this. Don't touch the stove, I'm begging on this. I'm Freddie, I'm Mike, I'm Chucky, I'm jizzing on this. Run for your life, you shaking on this. Got some for a fuck, nigga, hating on this. I've been waiting on this. You guys hear those? What is that? The trumpet? That's a really good touch. I like that. I've been waiting on this. Okay, rating on that. The other one was like 9.2, I think. I'm going to give this a 9. And the only reason, because actually I really, really like this one just as much, but the only reason I'm going to give the other one a couple points, not points, but I don't even know how to say that, but a couple more extra is because of the girl. Like, like not that this needed a chorus like that, but I just really am really partial to that. I really like it. But this one was really, really good. Waiting on this was definitely top. All right, these two were my top two so far. Uh, guys, we're only three in, and I liked all three. I liked the first one a lot too. But we're in only three, and it's 
it's a really good album. It really is. Okay, this is called Broski. Broski. This one's already got a lot of plays, I guess. It, over 3 million. It just released a few hours, like 4 o'clock this morning, my time. All right, so Broski, let's go. Today I had a conversation with one of my bros My homie, he's been close to me since we were six years old He calls my mama mom, he's seen all of my highs and lows From school fights to sharing clothes, from b-ball to fucking hoes He sat me down to let me know some things he never told me Things he never got a chance to say or even show me he said, I know that I don't tell you often, maybe not even at all, but I'm so proud of you and your success, broski. And I admire how you chase your dreams, that's just courageous. Thank you for never switching up when you got rich and famous. Thank you for never giving up on me or having lesser love for me whenever we lose touch and be on different pages. I hope you know I'm here for you the way you there for me. It's crazy you done more for me than on my family tree. And when I say I got your back, just know I really squeeze and make some niggas really bleed, that's really what I really mean. I'm proud of how much you matured and grew, but you still you. The world knows you for your talent, but I know the real you. And all your traumas behind closed doors you never heal through. And all the pain you act like you don't feel, but you still do. I love the fact you keep your shit together mentally. You work hard for your respect, don't need no empathy. When people look you over and shut you out intentionally, you always said if they don't fuck with you, they will eventually. And remember when I went to prison? When I did a bid and you the only one that came to visit? Put money on my books and send me pictures of some bitches They don't make them like you no more, my nigga, you just different And bro, you ain't have to pay my niece's tuition I set me up with that new job and try to teach me the business Always quick to hold me down before you speak your opinion What goes around comes around and that's the reason you winning But listen, I was thinking maybe Since you my broski and I've been there since we was babies You can hit the bank and break me off or something wavy Maybe just a couple hundred thousand, nothing crazy Cause I've been hurting lately and I deserve it maybe And if you can't do it, that's cool It ain't like I'll be angry You still my broski and I love you But that's kind of shady Cause I've been going through some shit It ain't like I'm just lazy so Alright, this turned a little bit different At first I thought it was him You know, saying that this guy's, you know, for him I'm curious if this is really about someone Like, you never know with rappers If what they're saying is true or not Maybe not to the extent of everything he's saying But just maybe just somebody that was Really close to him growing up And helped him a lot but now it's turning a little, it seems like it's turning a little dark. Like he want this guy wants money and, and not even a little bit of, not like $10. The guy wants a couple hundred thousand and he, it, I don't know. It sounds like it's going to go bad, but I don't know. Maybe you should pay me. I quit my job because I don't want to work for no other niggas. Well, maybe works for some, don't work for some other niggas. Yeah, they pay good, but you know I'm a stubborn nigga. Plus I know you got my back, right? If not, then fuck it. I ain't asking again. Just don't forget who walked with you when you're back to the wind. And don't forget whose ideas I got you rapping again when you lost your passion and got lazy and was slacking and shit. And please don't treat me like them niggas that be asking for shit. Cause I never asked you for a damn thing. I'd rather pull a hamstring and run across some fan blades while jumping out an airplane. Or sitting in a damn rain while begging for some spare change. I'm sorry that we all can't be talented and rich like you. The little people still struggle, we ain't lit like you. If we being honest, it don't really seem like you want me to chase my dreams so I can get like you. And lately you've been on some sucker shit, that's what I see, broski. I hope you know that hate of shit is a disease, broski. Cause last time I checked, we was a fucking team. And just because you got paper don't mean that you better than me, broski. I know everything about you. I know every single secret. I know where you rest your head at. I know every bitch you sleep with. I know where you keep your bread at. I pretend that I don't see shit. You a greedy motherfucker. You been hoping I don't be shit. You been getting fat while I been starving. You been buying every car and house while I been in the garbage. I deserve everything you got and more, and that's a bargain. You just want to shit on me and see me falling. That's alarming. You just hoping I'm a tarnish. You don't want me to be nothing. You don't want to open doors for me. You did a little something, but you could have did a little more for me. No wonder why your father turned his back on you, unfortunately. No wonder why your niggas set them traps on you to sorcery. You ain't nothing but a phony. You a liar. You a snake, and you can rap. You ain't Kendrick, you ain't Cole, you ain't Drake, can't believe I called you family, I should shoot you in the face, you used to act like you was real, but I always knew that you was fake, you let the fame get to your head and all it did was made you whack, I always knew that they would come when you would stab me in my back, one day your money gonna be gone and I'll be 
happy, that's a fact. And then you move back to the hood and I'll be laughing when you back. But you're my nigga and I love you. And I want to see you win. I wouldn't place no one above you. And you've always been my friend since we were stepping in the puddles. Real niggas don't pretend because you're my brother, you my double. You're my motherfucking twin. And I want to let you know how I appreciate the things you show me. It's kind of hard to trust niggas. That's why I keep you closely. And look, I know that I don't tell you often. Maybe not even at all. But I'm so proud of you and your success, bros. Keep up. All right, guys, that was Broski, and it was a little bipolar. Like I said in the beginning, it was like he was like, you know, congratulating him, like proud of him. And then it was like, you better give me a hundred, a couple hundred thousand dollars or we're not cool anymore. Like, and then he's back to, you know, you're the person and all, you know, you're a little bipolar joiner. Like, I think so. Just a little, little. That was good. Um, even though I can, listen, I can appreciate the song as far as like the creativity that it takes, you know, and all that stuff. But I will be honest, those songs like that is not really something I would listen to more than once. I'd listen to it, but it's not like the song like I'm going to be jamming out in my car to. So Broski will get a lower thing just because it's not something I could jam out to. But I mean, of course, not every song is going to be like that. But um, I'll say an eight, you know, because I mean, it was really good how he went from there to there to there. Um, Maddie got madder, madder, and they changed it. You could feel the emotions in the song, but um, Broski, yeah, you're gonna get an eight. All right, the next one is Fake Promises. I know he has some um, features on this. We're not there yet, but I do know that there are a couple features. All right, let's try this one. Fake Promises. Are we not working? Fake promises. Trying to show you something different. Keep it real, I feel like that mentality don't even fit you Try to show you something different, take you by the hand Maybe change the way you think and show you how to plan Fuck a Chanel bag, I put you on a buying land Sit you down, show you how to build a castle by the hand yeah. I'll show you how to do more Show you how to invest one to make two more Show you how to turn three into a few more Show you how to turn a bus pass into a two door You said you promise you gonna open up some new doors you said you promised you gonna elevate at full force But you keep doing the same shit and now you too lost I know that you'll be doing better if you only knew more yeah. It's like when I look at you I see so much more than you probably could even see yourself you know shit? It's like these other hoes is basic, you're not basic, you got potential, you feel what I'm saying? You just gotta learn how to separate yourself from all the noise you Gotta let go of all your distractions you know and your friends are cool don't get me wrong i like your friends but they don't got no niggas in their life to really put them on game like that so they're 
gonna try to stay you over there, but ain't really nothing over there but the same old movie and shit playing. Over there. Ain't nobody gonna tell you this shit like I gotta put you on game. Trying to stimulate your mind, give you some shit to think about when you by yourself, you know what I mean? They don't mean nothing to me. John. They don't mean nothing. They don't mean nothing. According to this very latest report, a tornado was reported by. You handsome, charming. All right, that was a little random at the end, a tornado warning. All right, that was fake promises. I'm going to categorize that the same one as Broski. Um, I mean, that one had a little bit more, but, like, to be honest, no, that wasn't for me. I, I Actually, when I heard the girl's voice, I don't know why, but whenever I hear, like, there's going to be, like, a chorus with a girl or something, like, I always have high hopes because I'm like, oh, I'm going to like this. But I didn't really... I did not like it, but it's not, it's, it wouldn't go on my playlist. It's not something I would listen to again. All right, guys, I was all like gun ho in the beginning. I was like, put me on. I'm ill, waiting on this. This is fire. But these last two ones are like one time listens. But this next one, let's fingers crossed. So, the next one is When I Need Love. All night I'm faded, staring at pictures, anxious, praying one day we go back to before we became some distant strangers, but now we on different pages, I heard you just switch locations, swear that I hope that you just don't hate me, hit me back when you get this message, hit me back when you get this message, it's been too long, probably moved on, but I really got a million questions, promise I don't got no ill intentions, tell me what I gotta do to feel your presence, I miss your vibe, I know we lost time, but I hope you ain't disconnected, maybe you can give me just a second, they feel like I need to really get this blessing, mm. And I've been trying to find a way to get inside of your thoughts. I wonder if you ever think about me at all. Do you like a better when I'm not as involved? But trying to keep myself together when I'm dropping the ball. Funny how the world really gotta evolve. But let you live a life with me. I don't want it at all. I'm like, let me explain. But I must be first. A lot of shit that really cut me hurt. Could I love you till I love me first? Had to learn that love means squirt. In my heart, but I live with that. Hoping even though I lost you, I get it back. If it's coming with a cost, then I live with that. I give with that. Maybe we can talk. Maybe you come through now. Maybe we can do a little one two now. Maybe you can let a nigga love you down. When I lost you, I lost your friendship too. So really gonna trust you now. You water that got, so if I don't got you, tell me who am I supposed to run to now? Huh? Been at now, trying to figure out where your head at now. Everything I did, I regret that now. This ain't true love, you can find just once. If you find this touch, don't step back now. I told them other girls they can sit back down. I love the way you look when you in that down. I mean that too, cause you don't want to want enough to leave that shoe. I never met nobody that could be that cool. I know you see me looking, I can see that view. And everything I say, you can believe that's true. I never knew that when I fucked up, I would be that fool. Why could I be that cruel? Should be eating at me, I want to eat at you. And if you put your legs open, I'ma eat that too. I'm like, let me explain. But I must speak first. A lot of shit that really cut me hurt. Couldn't love you till I love me first. Never knew that love means work. Had to learn that the hard way. Tired of running every time we have a hard day. Had to learn that I was loving you the wrong way. Can you call me? Or could you unblock me? Or maybe you could come through now. Maybe we could do a little one two now. Maybe you could let a nigga love you down. When I lost you, I lost your friendship too. So really, I'ma trust you now. Your brother that got so if I don't got you, tell me who am I supposed to run to now? Huh? You know, I, I got done saying a little while ago that I love when there's a girl voice to it for the chorus. This is the first one that I do not like it. But I love his. I'll get into it when it's over. But just got a note. I don't like her part.
you, Senora, sino por él. It's like, damn, man, what the fuck is wrong with this camera, man? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what is up with the randomness at the last like seven seconds of the videos or the songs. Um, all right, again, that was when I need love. I'm gonna not. I'm gonna be honest. His ly the lyrics, I heard all of it. Kind of relatable. Um, I really, really like this one for his part, but I thought that the chorus part, I had more expectation for it. I think that his part was really, really good and it didn't match the same energy as as his. Um, so for that reason, like the lyrics were really, really good. For that reason, I'm going to do like 8.5. If, if, if the chorus was different, a little bit more energy or the sound of it would be different. I don't know. The sound, I didn't really like. It sounded like it was underwater. I didn't like that. Um... It would have been like a nine because I think it was really, really good. I loved his part, which is good. I mean, at least I love the main person. So, all right, guys, that was when I need love. The next one is cut you off. Is he going to be mad again now? Cut you off. Let's go. Oh, this is our first feature. It's with young boy never broke again. I swear that guy puts out a song every other day. Yeah. I could tell they switching when I read the signs. Ain't too many left in my circle. I had to redesign. I got comfortable with disappointment, so I'll be just fine. Rather be alone. I've been valuing my peace of mind. Keep it funky, we don't need the vibe. If you hit my line and now answer, don't you be surprised. You ain't on my wave. Hope that you can read between the lines. I don't think we need no ties. I don't All right, I feel like this one is giving me the same vibes as I am ill. I'm ill. Uh, I'm excited to hear uh, young boy and hear what he has to say, but this is good. This is, I feel like this is the joiner I like. I don't like the ones where it's like, like, I don't want to say like it's a story because I do like stories, but like one where there's no, like, I want to, I want to bounce. You know what I mean? This is the joiner I like. So I like this. Cut you off. Cut you off. Sometimes you just gotta cut them off. And I know that I'll be better raw. Cause I'm a boss. Hey, fuck you, dog. Fuck you, dog. Uh, yeah. Better tensions and know that I wanna put you in position. Fucking around with your friends, advice they put in, ain't helping you get it. Uh, how about this bitch for my girl? That's another band. Had to cut you straight, I would've put you in it. You'll be running your mouth, telling all the business. Gotta know that ain't law, ain't fucking with it. Another type I put out, that's another me. She leave out another entry and in a minute. She don't like me, I know she just wanna get it. Had to kick the bitch off by playing with me. I ain't friendly, they know I ain't leaking with them. Running up with that
fuck it, yeah, I had to cut you off. Okay, again, I have no idea what's up with the randomness at the end of the video uh, songs. All right, guys, for those that uh, are following me on my other vlogs page, um, I live in Morocco and Anasima, which means I'm fasting because it's the holy month of Ramadan. And can I just tell you, doing this long album reaction, like straight through, um, I'm thirsty and I am not going to drink, but I just want to tell you, I feel like I need to tell somebody while I'm sitting here. All right, guys, that was cut you off. Okay. I'm not like the biggest fan of young boy never broke again. Like, honestly, I know he puts out so much music. Like he's literally always dropping all the time, but I don't think there's really many of his that I really like. Um, and then hearing this proved to me, reminded me that I'm not really the biggest fan of his. This song did not need young boy. You can leave Young Boy at home. Cut You Off was a great song with just Joyner. Um, maybe if it had like something else, but not him. It did not need Young Boy. Because of that reason, I'm going to give it an 8.8. .8. Joyner, you're making me very happy this morning. You're making me very, very happy this morning. All right, guys, the next one. Okay, and as I just said that, my stomach growled. I don't even know how the heck. It's only 11.30. 11.30, I've got... Step seven more hours and all of a sudden I'm starving. Um, all right, the next one. What's that? Let's go. Can't catch me when I'm too damn fast. Hey, you can't last. Work too hard to turn back now. They don't like me, that's too damn bad. Bitch, don't touch what you can't have. Yeah, yeah, mm, you can't. This is the joiner I like. This is the joiner I like. This, I don't know how to describe how this is different than like broski, uh, but if you know what I mean, this is what I mean. This is the music that I like of his. Just cause I fuck don't mean she mine. I toss that bitch with a two hand bag. Tied up Cali now, I got your keys. Straight from the block, I hop out the keys. Don't I got niggas that I hop out and squeeze. Leave a nigga jumping out of that house screams. I gotta breathe. I don't get enough credit, bitch. Shout out to me. Snitch ass bitches brought out the D. Wu-Tang shit, I brought out the B. Hey, work too hard to go back to the days where I made just a minimum wage. What's that? I need head three times a day. If not, we ain't on the same page. What's that? Google fucking on my network. Say I got two, three M's on my name. What's that? They gotta make at least 20 M's. Bitch, better fix that shit. I'm paid. What's that? This a flash. It's in a piss and stress. Fuck the disrespect. I gotta interject. I gotta let the weight sell on my bench to press. My life in the shit. You niggas been depressed. You either misdirected or you incorrect. I gotta smith the west and let her rip your flesh and let her split your neck until you miss the sessions. I'm an evil curse. It's not a bigger blessing. Hey, I don't wanna be in no relationship. I don't need no plan with my head. What's that? I made too much money last year, Uncle Sam took half of my bread, what's that? I know you really want the Rari, but you had to settle for the vet instead, what's that? Little bitch stuck in my way, what's that? Doc said I'm over my meds, what's that? Let's go. This is good, this is fire. I don't even smoke, baby, at all. I feel like he's smoking a day. Hey, back in the days I was nickel and diamond. They want my soul, but won't give me a diamond. I want it all, I'ma dig in your pocket. She want to fuck me to get on my wallet. Whoa, what's that? What's that? My rims are clean, they be sitting in common. I'm about to count on my comments in private. Our bank account ain't got nothing in common. Nigga, in comments. Yeah. And your common sense don't make sense with my comments. If you got no sense and no comments, don't comment. Bitch, I'm so wavy, I live on an island. Nah, scratch that. I'm floating on stars and eating some ramen. I'm not from this world, I got houses on comments. I'm yeah, I've been out the motherfucking hallway. Niggas ain't learned that they gotta learn the hard way. Empty my clip like John Wayne. Niggas wanna play in my stank, it's a Broadway. Oh, you want beef? That's okay. Bitch, it's a rap, that's word that you pro like. Black shit down like probate. In your bitch, my best word is the Colgate. Mm. I get the nine up in my mama curve. We're selling nickels and dimes in the Kalana pit. Does he? He does. 
bitch and shit, but I need no plan with my head. What's that? I made too much money last year, Uncle Sam took half of my bread. What's that? I know you really want the Rari, but you had to settle for the vet instead. What's that? Little bitch stuck in my way. What's that? Doc said I'm over my meds. What's that? Let's hear the randomness at the end. But when I got back and I found out that he'd stolen Ben, lies had gotten all of us into so much trouble. <laughs> all right, so that was What's That? And I'm going to give that a nine. That was very, very good. It's the joiner I love. Let's hope the next one is another one. Oh, we got another, we got another feature. It's with Conway the Machine. Who the heck is Conway the Machine? I feel like I've heard of that. Let's see. Is it a country artist? Oh no, he's a rapper. Ah, I'm sorry. I, you know what? I saw Conway and I thought of I think Conway Twitty. Uh, yeah, he's he's not a country artist. He is a rapper. Oh, he's an older rapper. He's 42. Uh, what's he known for? Wait, what happened to him? Oh, 2012. He was shot in the head, neck, and shoulder. They originally thought he'd be paralyzed. However, today the only permanent injury is his face being partially paralyzed, giving him a signature slur. Oh, so he's got like a signature slur from a shooting. That's interesting. All right, so let's give this Joyner Lucas Conway the Machine sticks and stones. I hope they don't break their bones. Wait, I'm curious. If he has a signature slur now, right? Because of the shooting in 2012. 2012, that's 12 years ago, so he was like 30 when this happened. Was he popular back then without the slur? Like, did people still like his music or it was like he got shot and he had a slur and then it was like, you're good. You're good now. You got a slur, you're good. I'm curious about that. Was he popular back then? She not in the sleep. I accomplished a bunch of shit that's way out of your reach. And I'm still not at my peak. Screaming on the label, all of them budgets gotta increase. My project complete. Yeah. Look, if it ain't a spade, it's a bottle of cleek. Call them out of olives inside of my creek. You know the model make a million dollars repeat. Got that down to a T. The money machine ring and no wonder machine seen in that color and thing. Greenish, that brother just seems genius. They talk the most, but they haven't. I did not hear a slur. I did not hear a slur. And spoiler alert, I don't like it. Where I've been is I sip a throne. And who needs a money phone? My money talking, I'm victim on. And who needs a wife? When I keep that pipe, that's Mrs. Jones. Ain't nothing worse than having love for niggas with twisted souls. The ones you call your brothers, grab the shovel and dig a hole. I've seen my own family stab my back. I should have known. They say sticks and stones will break your bones. I'm sticks and stones. I wish I could pick up phones, but I know there ain't no way in hell. I think this rap, this shit is cool. And yeah, I played it well. But really, I'll be contemplating quitting if we stay real. But would you walk away from 50 million or be Dave Chappelle? I'd rather cry inside a yacht than an 88 DeVille. Fuck my bitch over the balcony while we was chasing wheels. Private chefs, dining best, lots of major meals. But when I'm with my kids, I'm at my best. That's how I stay fulfilled. Nights in Miami, getting drunk and whipping foreign. Just cop the New York and she's still buffing up the Taurus. Stunting on you niggas, flies, fuck when I'm in orbit. Bought my mansion all in cash. You niggas fucking up your mortgage. 
niggas You want the fame and glory But don't got numbers to support it If you don't give me my flowers Bitch, I'm coming with a florist Your shorty ain't a groupie She just fuck me cause I'm gorgeous Hate when niggas kiss and tell Y'all just ain't nothing but informants Better get real I do this for my niggas locked up Sleeping on bed still I do this for my niggas trapping Working on their best skills For niggas out here stressing Head spinning like roulette wheels Trying to make it back to home base With snakes in the left field And I don't know how death feels But I tell you how success feels I tell you what it's like to have to worry about your next meal I tell you what it's like to know who's a hundred and who's less real I tell you what it's like I tell you what it's like for real You know what? You know what probably happened? Conway the Machine was like, don't put that on mine. Don't put that on our track. You know, and it wasn't happening. All right, guys, Sticks and Stones with featuring Conway the Machine. Not a fan. Nothing against him. I did not hear a slur. Sorry. Maybe there's a better example of what they're talking about if you guys want to comment if there's a better because i mean they made a big deal that he had a signature slur i didn't hear it um he sounded very clear to me but that wasn't my cup of tea i'm gonna be like an old person that wasn't my cup of tea i didn't i don't know it's you guys know now right what kind of joiner i like that's not the joiner i like but next one actually the next one we're just gonna vibe to because i've already done a reaction to this one to the video i really like it it is uh, Best For Me, and it's the one with featuring Jelly Roll. I had no idea who Jelly Roll was. I just saw, like, this infamous clip on IG about him accepting this award, and he's not like what you would think. You look at him, and he's really, really good. I love Jelly Roll. All right, so this is Best For Me. I do know the song because, like I said, if you know me on my reaction channel, I've already reacted to the video of this. So we'll just vibe with this one. Can you love Ooh, someone? wait. Sticks and Stones, I get a rate. I'm sorry. That's going to get like a six. Don't hate me. I've got to say this about this song. This song could have gone either way. When it first started playing and he's singing like this, I'm like, oh, this is going to be like a love song. No, it's about addiction, which is very, very important. But like it kind of dashed my dreams of like the love song. But okay, but this is really good. I love Jelly Roll's voice here. Isn't it funny you can change your ways for someone to fill in your empty space? Tell me, is it really love if you have to ask if they'll stay? Yeah, I got somebody I love. Someone who's really important to me, but now they addicted to drugs. Someone who's not who they used to be, and we ain't been keeping in touch. I ain't gonna say any names at all, because I don't want no one to judge. But I wrote the song, I hope when they hear it, they'll never forget who they was. I hope you're feeling your spirit enough. I want to just tell you I love you in case that you really don't hear it as much. I know we ain't talked in a while, but fuck it, I really don't care what it was. I want to reach out, but you keep on shutting me down. Like you ain't been caring as much. What the fuck happened to you? You losing a fight. I never thought I'd see the day that you let addiction ruin your life. Everyone calling that shit a disease and making you feel like you in the right. But I hate the fact that you really be using that as an excuse to do what you like or do what you might. And I gotta tell you the truth Cause I'm about to lose it And you in denial about it And just wanna make up a million excuses Tearing our family apart But you leave a scar and everyone bruises Every decision affecting us all And if you get lost then everyone loses For real And I'ma be next to leave I know that guy got a plan And you ain't fulfilling your destiny Much as I need you I will not be sticking around Or watching you rest in peace I promise I love you But I gotta do what's best for me How can you love so Phone, but I've been alone so long I'm harder to reach 
I know you ain't saying any names, but I got a feeling you talking to me. I hate when these demons get into my soul. I feel like I'm caught in a beast. How do I let go of something I know is bigger and stronger than me? If I could be honest, I'll tell you the truth. I'm not who you want me to be. Nobody is perfect, not even you. So why you keep targeting me? I feel like we can't even have a genuine convo without you starting to preach. I feel like a dog on a leash. It's not what I need. Living in hell, wondering when I gotta leave. Now how can I breathe? How you gonna tell me addiction is not a disease? What do you mean? If it's not a disease, then why is it gotten to me? It's not what it seems. But you always be making me feel like the problem is me. I'm not gonna be who you want me to be. Like God decided for me. And speaking of God, how the fuck you know all of the plans he's got for me? So give me a break. I've been inching away from trying to get out of this dream. I'm drifting away. How come you only there for me when I be trying to get clean? My biggest mistake is me wishing that things were different. I feel like the drugs is made for sin and it's why I've been stuck in the same position. Fuck. I'm falling, but I can't. Alright guys, that one, like I said, I knew already because I already reacted to the video of it. Best for me with Jelly Roll. Loved it. That's a nine for me. The next one, I didn't go. Another feature, which Simba and... Wait a minute. DMX. Didn't DMX die? Oh my god, am I not right? Is DMX alive and I... No, he died. How is DMX in this song? It's called I Didn't Go. Let's see. Maybe he didn't. Uh, this is weird. Yo, either you play the game or the game plays you. And if you don't get the picture, nigga, change angles. We used to be broke, now our chains dangle. And before the theater in my crib, it was plain cable. Oh, are you lame, ain't you? And if you lame, you stay lame. Money can't change you. I'm a bigger artist, and I don't care if we on the same label. I put a baby in a plan B in the same crate. Getting rich was my only plan. But you can't raise my son, I have my only fan. Project Windows was my only fan. Take my mama out the hood, that was my only plan. I'm an overthinker that over plans. You still throwing haymakers, praying at open lands. My sins gonna kill me, and I know it can. Like staring down a barrel with a nine, but I hope it jams. Why don't niggas hate me? I can't find an answer. Never mind me of some tumors, that's a lot of cancer. Or a lot of banter. Don't know if my son would be disappointed or surprised after he finds out I'm Santa. In order to live, I needed to know how I could hide the tantrums. In order to get where I needed to go, I took a lot of slander. I took a lot of chances. I told wifey, I got rules. If you call on with my hoe, then I don't got to answer. Say that I ain't shit, well, you may be right. Cause I can sell your mama drugs after I lay the pipe. Sell a bitch dope after I raise the price. Fuck getting stabbed in the back, I'd rather face the knife. And I want all the smoke, this is not haze. This that homegrown methadone John Blaze. I hate when you niggas act like you're not phased. I hate when my bitches act like they not slaves. And I'm a born sinner, but I got saved. Show up to the church, then I got paid. I'm what God made, and fuck it, do rag. I had so many brushes with death, I think I got ways. Lil Roach, I think I got raid. Pest control on them, they got sprayed. Picture me giving cops names the day that you can pitch a ASAP Rocky without brains. Picture niggas rolling, flying foreign, floating out of space. Or bitches on Instagram with no filter face. Picture if judges ain't judged by a race. My nigga thugger thugger would be free. I pray be this case. 
picture the industry when it's missing me. Niggas running Sounds off like with no insurance, guy. can't even fix their teeth. Everybody telling me stay woke, but should I need some sleep? I'm about to change my number, drop a comment if we need to speak. All you niggas who did less for me, trying to get next to me. I don't trust you niggas with no money, but got expertise. Level up or leave, pull up in them SUV. Security is refugees, travel across the seven seas. People in my pocket like I ain't got one at home to feed. Fell out with my cousin, cause I won't spot him. Call as much as she be calling me. I swear to God, sometimes I wish my family had a referee. Big dogs gotta play for keeps. I'm courtside or I'm in the suites. Some niggas said I don't support the streets. He just mad that I ain't like his beats. Where's DMX in this? The insecurity so loud. When you win, they wanna stop you. I'm guessing that's how it go now. The album about to drop this whole year looked like a rollout. They was acting like they ain't know, but I bet they know now. Been through the rain, made it out the jungle, and I'm grateful for it all. The blessings and the curses, the triumphs and the failures, the lessons and the verses, the best and the worst. Yet to be seen, and based on what I've been through, I don't know what that means. But whatever it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. Cause I know God, and knowing me, it's gonna be hard. Cause I saying the title of the song. At this point, I feel like my kids are the only thing that really keeps me going, you know what I mean? Like, just uncover the real you. Alright guys, that was I Didn't Go featuring Simba, never heard of him, and DMX, who of course I know of, but he's dead. So how the hell did he do this? Look, I know that the people will have features of like people that are dead or whatever, that's fine, you know? But there's never, it's never usually added to like as a feature. It's just like background, you know what I mean? Like the girls and all that. It's, 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 it's not a feature, it's a sample. I don't know if that's a sample because I don't know DMX to know. Like I know his big ones, but I've never heard that before. But he literally said, I didn't go. How did we get DMX out from the grave and do this? I need to know how this happened. Because he's been dead. He died like... What's, when did he die? He died in 2021. So two years ago. Three years ago. Holy crap. It's been almost three years ago. I don't understand it. I need explanation. Um, I'm going to give that... I, I hate to do this because it was DMX in it. But I, I didn't like... That's the joiner I don't like, guys don't like that joiner and then you add somebody i don't even know and um he was just as bland i don't know don't eat me alive in these comments please 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 because i love joiner lucas but that is not the joiner lucas i love three little pigs fingers crossed i love three little pigs you know you're supposed to sleep right you're getting too old for these bedtime stories too but all right i'm gonna read you a story Gotta make a deal with me though. After I read you this, you're going to bed. That's the deal. Alright. So the story right here 
was called the Three Little Pigs. So they were the Three Little Pigs. They was all grown up, and they were drinking some hot coffee and eating donuts. It was a beautiful sunny day, some real perfect weather, and the pigs was dressed the same. Cause they all work together, and their job ain't really easy. And they work is kind of scary, so they all got water guns. That's their favorite thing to carry, and they'll squirt you more than once if they think it's necessary. But we'll talk about that later. Let's get back to the story. Deep inside the forest was a family of wolves and a pack. Even though they had sharp teeth and they were black, ain't really mean that they'll attack. Just means that they were trapped because the color of their fur made some believe that they was bad. Now, I know that sounds sad, but ain't nobody care. Cause the problem with the wolves is they were never treated fair. And no matter where they go, only one thing is clear. That as long as you're a wolf, the pig's gonna be scared. So the forest and the town were separated. And if the wolves wanted to come around, they hesitated. Cause they knew they wasn't welcome there. So every time they roamed, they always said a prayer in hopes that they could make it home. But the night was getting cold and all the food was running low. And then right here is a picture of some pots on the stove. Some empty cabinets, some old bread with the mold. Let me flip the page real quick. Then one of the wolves said they gonna drive up to the store. And so he hopped inside the car. And before he cranked the key, he put a seatbelt on and buckled up to be as safe can be. Followed every traffic rule on the way from A to Z. And then he went to... Man, let me, let me skip to the good part. So after he bought some groceries and he was done for good, then he put the food inside his trunk as fast as he could. And he started driving perfectly and headed towards the woods until he seen the pig's car and knew this probably wasn't good. The pigs on the prowl started speeding up and yelling loud, pull over right now. Turn the car off and throw the keys on the ground and step out and get on your knees and don't even make a sound. The wolf said, wow. How is this allowed? I got my license registration. Why you trying to take me down? And he was real scared because he knew what the pig's about. So he refused to get out and started speeding to his house. Then he pulled up, hopped out, almost fell down, but ran inside the front door. That's when he locked the pigs out. Then the pig screamed loud, get about this house now. Or I'm a huff, I'm a puff, I'm a blow this house down. And now they got the house around and pointing all their water guns, about to shoot some water rounds. Kicked the door down and all they heard was water sounds. That's what happens when the pigs fear you. So here's the moral with a story with a clear view. No matter who you're with or where you're at or where to, there's always gonna be three little pigs living near you. Good night, buddy. Me. All right, for those that don't know. He was talking about three little pigs, but he was actually talking about cops and I'm assuming African-Americans or, you know, black people um, like the treatment from police to those type of people. Um, a lot of times it's completely unfair, as we've seen in the media. That was good. It had a good message. It had a good message. So I will give it points for that. But again, if you know already from watching, this is the 12th song, you know what kind of joiner I like. So I'm going to give that like a seven and a half just because the message was good. But, you know, no. All right. The next one, 24 hours to live. I feel like I've heard a song that's called like that. 24 hours to live. My niggas outside of the crib, blowing the smoke and rolling a few, shooting some dice and making a flip. We getting a lit, you know what to do. One of my homies said, I got a question I want to know. Like, what will you choose? If you had 24 hours to live, then where will you go? And what would you do? I'm about to catch a few felonies, load up the trunk and then head to the Beverly's. How about the whip and then rob a celebrity? Take all this shit and then steal his identity. Strap on a vest and go kill all my enemies. Slap any hater that showed any jealousy. Shoot every broski that tried to get next to me. After the shit, they all gonna remember me. Stick up the bank and the end of the draw. Get in the floor, take from the rich and then give to the poor. Give them the shit that they couldn't afford. Buy them all cribs and then give them a tour. Whipping the poor, skirt on the cops and I'm flipping the law. Bury the ops and then dig up the car. Throw me a party with all of the bros and then turn every day to a holiday. I have an orgy with all of the hoes who ain't never won't give me the time of day. Catch them all lacking and kidnap you rappers who talk to police and cooperate. Breaking the prison and free all the hitters and give all them niggas a lobster play. Pull up to the fucking White House with an AK. Go inside and cut the lights out, then I make way. Tell the government to pipe down, we don't play safe. Everybody on the block now, get a big day, stay ready, and I'm on a prowl with a straight blade. Guarantee the shit that go down like a main date. Make a renovate the whole hood, then I vacate. A lot of niggas doing no good, but they maintain. I'm a gun down, every pedophile. Wonder if I get to heaven now. 
then rob a celebrity. Take all the shit and then steal his identity. Strap on a vest and go kill all my enemies. Slap any hater that showed any jealousy. If you had 24 hours to live, well, then what would you do if it was you instead of you do? 24 hours to live, I'm not going to kill people. I'm not going to go rob people. 24 hours to live, I'm going to go, like, go to an amusement park. I'm going to go eat all the food. I'm not going to be killing people. Join her. Calm down. Calm down. What would you do? What would you do? I got a question I want to know. Like, what would you do? Where would you go? Is it just me or do you feel like you want to hear 21 Savage saying, 21, 21? Do you hear that? I swear, it could totally... Slide 21 in here. So I got a question I want to know. Like, what will you do? Would you go crazy because of it? Kill every nigga you hold on the grudge. You can slide up the plug and escape. You 100 brick slap any nigga that did any sucking shit. Put in the crib and take what you want to get. Load up the choppers and scheme on the government. 24 hours is all that you're going to get. Would you go stupid or would you do none of it? And I'm coming for every nigga that owe me cake. Better have every single penny and don't be late. All the running and how to get do won't be safe. We ain't talking and I don't want to negotiate. I'm a fucking your baby mama's a procreate. Give me something to little brother. I hope he hate. Got a bullet for every nigga that told me wait. No more rhyming than OJ. I need a Kobe stay. Sick and tired of niggas bragging, better give me your jewelry. If I don't take it off, and you'll be giving it to me. I murder every bullet that be getting a ruling. This for every nigga that thought it was living a movie. Way too many on my list that was daring to move me. This for anybody that was swearing they knew me. I take every motherfucker who the animal cruelty. Line up all up in a row, so I hand me the Uzi. Yeah. And you gon' see what happens next. Cause when the clock hits stop, I can laugh at death. I got a bulletproof heart. I don't have a vest. Before I die, ask God if I pass a test. Take all my money, got the crib, and I cash a check. They give all of it to my kids. That's my last request. If you had 24 hours to act your level, tell me what you gon' do if you ask me. What would you do? What would you do? What would you do? This one's good. question I wanna know. Like, what would you do? Where would you go? What would you choose? So I got a question I wanna know. Like, what would you do? Would you go crazy because of it? Kill every nigga you hold in the grudge. You can slide up the plug and escape. You 100 brick slap any nigga that did any sucking shit. Run in the crib and take what you wanna get. Load up the choppers and scheme on the government. 24 hours is all that you gonna get. Would you go stupid or would you do none of it? Hey, Doc, what's the news? Doc says, I have some bad news and some really bad news. The bad news is that you only have 24 hours to live. Fred can't believe it. Oh my God, what could be worse news than that? Doctor says, I couldn't get hold of you yesterday. <laughs> All right. That was 24 hours to live. That is the joiner I love. So of course it will get a good rate. I will say like a nine. I like that one a lot. Um... But he does have a little anger issues because 24 hours to live, I'm not doing the stuff that he's talking about. All right, so this next one is another feature and it has logic. Logic? Like, I thought logic is like somewhere in Minnesota with his kid, like low key not doing anything anymore, but like he's still on IG a lot. And then Twista. Twista is an old, old school rapper. Um, he was like, at one point, like, the Guinness World Holder for Fastest Rapper Alive. Um, but I think Eminem beat him with Rap God, maybe. But I do know these guys, and I'm a little excited, but cautious of how Logic is... Like, I mean, he's raps, obviously, but, like, I don't know. I'm curious to see it. So this is called Still All Right. Let me rewind it a little bit. Guys, I have to figure out how to do Spotify because I don't like this... Um, you know, I like the button. Tell me what do you see when you look in my eyes? Got a lot on my mind. Hope I never be going out of my mind. Been trying to control what I'm growing out of my prime. I thought I was ready. It really wasn't my time. I know, I know. I live in my head. I said I'd be rich and I did what I did. Shit for me, I do the shit for my kids. I teach them how to go and get it when they're ready to leave. But tired of living up in hell when I know heaven is free. And nothing really more important than protecting the peace. I wanna teach them how to grow up and be better than me. When I was chasing all the people with no second to breathe. But I tell myself, don't ever give up and accept the defeat. My premonition's already written and definitely. But I never listen, I know my vision, they never can see. And truthfully, I wasn't even supposed to make it this far. I take it this far. I know that God got me, I'm thinking it far. As soon as I get it, then I'll be paying it far. You know you made it with all the haters support. The haters support. Jonah been working and I ain't taking no shorts. When they tell me be humble, then I'ma take it too far. Should I used to feel like, well, now I'm feeling like, uh, made mistakes, can't get it right, yeah. Uh, niggas can't stand me, I'm living like, oh, uh, trying to win a Grammy like Killer Mike, uh, I'm on the dog like Killer Mike, yeah. Uh, took a lot of L's, trying to win a fight, oh, uh, got back up, I'm still alright, yeah. Uh, I'll be alright, I'm still alright. 
all right. And I don't really care about nothing except for keeping my legacy. Hoping I be living long enough to see what the enemy got. to take the shot for every nigga trying to get rid of me. I wish they could look inside my soul and see what they did to me. I got a fire inside me and a secret within me. When I look inside the mirror, all I see is a little me. Wishing I could break up, but I hope that even no hinder me. If I overcome it, then I'll be achieving the victory, yeah. What you really want, what it really is. I remember living my life with a milli fear. So many years, I thought I had a million ideas. So I had a five piece of release nonsense. I do it for the art, not the content. All I really wanted was acceptance. Now as a man, I can vent this. Fuck that in this. Do what you love in this life. Don't let hate in your life. No, don't work for a job till you hate it. And look back like, goddamn, I really done gave up my life. If I say just one life with this verse and it's worth it. If this is your future, you need to reverse it. Ain't nobody perfect, man. Fuck all that cake. It ain't worth it. Just take what you buried deep down in the earth that I know that you heard it. The voice from within, not above. So do what you love. Ain't no way I can keep it up. Feeling this feeling is crazy. Creeping up, telling me I would not be enough. No, wasn't being me enough. I think I see enough of what I don't want in my life. Give a damn if it's right. That's the reason I write. Need a reason to fight. Cause I need it in sight. With these monsters in sight, it get darker than what I would like. But I know I'm all right. Ain't no way that you can never know my struggle. As a child, going through shit way harder than blowing out a bubble. I would know a lot of trouble before I got to the lyrical ability of water that was flowing out of funnel. Like a channel, the aggression and depression for only a moment when I had to realize rapping ain't it. When there wasn't no more money from a record deal, I couldn't get another one. So I was about to quit. Had to get a job. Didn't want to be a slob, even though I would rather be spitting bars. Then one day somebody saw me. Yeah, work. I said, Twister, why are you in here washing cars? That hurt my heart. That shit tore me apart. So I prayed up to God that if I ever got another chance at music, I won't take it for granted. I'm a dunk if I get the law. Ran into AK from Do or Die. He said, come to the studio. I'm going to put you on a song. Saw my new gig in the morning, but I'm going to come after. This is my chance to get back on. Thankful that I was living at my brother's house, but I want my own, so I'm going to go in. I walked in the lab and the beat was by tracks. The title of the song was Pope Pin. I said, ooh, snap. I told him I'm about to chat. Spit it funky like I'm a Mac. I'm going to come on so hard on this track. It's going to change my condition and change the way people might be broke as shit and they collected no dough from tips but i'll be spitting more games than a mouthful of poker chips and i was glad that the world recognized how dope this is and the prayer was effective if you stressed and depressed then let this comment soak in your brain first time that i ever played pope pimp for somebody i was on the way to work on the train and i didn't quit it until the record was dropping but when i did it i knew it was right because through my prayers and my faith and my works it gets darker than what i would like but i know i'm all right all right all right So when I saw the title, still all right. Shapes that swing it up. Randomness. No idea. Now people are gathering it. All right. There's a song I'm in my head that I when I see still all right that goes I'll I'm going to be all right. That one. I thought it was sounding like it was going to be something like I for some reason I thought it was that. All right. Not my favorite. Twist to save it for me. Like I said, I love Logic. I know Logic. And of course, Joanna Lucas. But, and to be honest, I really don't even know that much about Twista. Like, I know, like, he's older rapper. He's old school. But I couldn't tell you any of his songs. Because, like, I'm one of those people, especially if it's older. Like, I'll know the song, but I don't know who it is. You know what I mean? But Twista kind of saved it for me on that. So, because of that, it will be a little higher than it would have been. But I'm going to give Still Alright, like, a seven and a half. It wasn't really my thing. To be honest, I'm not a real big fan of when there's, like, more than two people in a song. Like, when there's, like, the person and then two features, I feel like very rarely, for me, does it mesh well. Like, does it just flow well? Like, it just feels like it's separate people, separate songs. Um, Yeah, so I, I didn't really care for that one. All right, the next one, number 15. We have three more to go. 17. Number 15, and it's called 17. Blue Slime Park. Rest in peace, Mac Miller. Yeah. <coughs> Join him. Yeah. yeah. Look, I used to pray for shit like this when I was 17. Okay. Hit the block and made a plan, I hope it set me free. Uh -huh. Turn that girl into a freak, she thought she'd never be. If she ain't with no freaky shit, then she ain't meant for me. I just hit a lick and made a flip and bought me seven pieces. This is Joy Narello.
Jersey show. Yeah. Who am I supposed to fuck? Too nutty, that nigga won't listen to Kells. Crazy with niggas and did it himself. Damn. guys i was 17 we are back up in the rating of the nines that was like a 9.4 um that was the joiner i love the beat was good it made me bounce the lyrics were good that was good all right we got two more uh one more with the feature but first up how much do you love me how much do you love me guys do you love me enough to be subscribing all right let's go you don't love me. You say you do, but I never know if you do or you don't because you never tell me how much. If you really loved me, then you would tell me how much. I tell you all the time, so you gonna tell me or what? I love you so much, there's not enough that I can say. If I put how much I love you on a scale, it'll probably break. I love you more than all the galaxies and out of space and every single star and every solar system out the way. I love you to the point that if I didn't have the cash and you needed money fast, then I'd probably rob a bank. And if it wasn't food and I could never eat again unless I had to wait for you, then I guess I gotta wait. I love you more than every drop of water on this planet, including all the droplets in the clouds I haven't landed. I love you more than Jack Love Rose and the Titanic, and I leave him by your boat in case you ever want a chance. If you was trapped on an island, never seen again, then I try to swim to get you even if I couldn't swim. And if I couldn't find you, cause your destiny depends on the day I stop breathing and I never breathe again. I love you more than all the words in every single language, more than every letter in every book on all the pages, more than all the detail on every picture painted. Probably love you more than I love me, and that shit kind of dangerous. If you had alopecia and your hair never grew, then I would shave my shit bald just so I could look like you. If you had one arm and you couldn't tie your shoes, then I might cut off my arm just to get that shit to you. I love you more than Wendy Williams loves tea. Probably love you more than Adam ever loved Eve. And if you kill someone and told me, then I help you hide the body, which means I'll be an accomplice, but it must be. Clean up all the DNA, then burn the evidence away while I'm plotting our escape right out the country. Cause when I say I'm ride or die, that means I'm really by your side, riding till I gotta die, and my blood bleed. I think I love you so much, there's not enough that I could say. If I put how much I love you on a scale, it'll probably break. I love you more than Chris Sean Rock loves Blueface. I love you more than the ladies love some Cool J. I love you so much that I would step in front of bullet. If a nigga ever pull it, I'll be Bobby Boucher. If we was broke and homeless and my whole career was over, I'd be singing on the corner for a little loose change. I love the fact that God took his time when he made you. 
I love you as you are. I hope you'll never change you. I love you to the point that if I ever let you down, I probably won't forgive myself because I don't know how I would face you. My doctor say it isn't healthy yet how much I praise you. I love you so much I pray for you when I embrace you. On a scale from 1 to 10, it's too much for me to rate you. But I love you so much I, I, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Come rain. Come sun. Love you till this world is done. All right, guys, that was How Much Do You Love Me? Um, I like that one, even though it wasn't like the bouncy one, you know, that I usually like. That was really good. Um, but like his extremes of how much he loves her, a little extreme. Listen, I need to know why, who thought it was a good idea to put the album cover, him covered in blood. Like, I'm not feeling the vibe from the album cover to the songs. Like, I'm not. All right, guys, last song, last song, and uh, it's called Not Now, I'm Busy, name of the album, and it's with, I don't even know if that's a girl or a guy, I'm assuming it might be a girl, but, Nafif, N-E-F, guys, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, okay, here we go, here, no, it's not an Egyptian queen, E-R-T-I-T-T-I, Havana. She's a singer. Okay, where's she from, though? She must be really small because there's, like, no... I don't know where she's from. Where are you from? I'm sorry. I kind of want to know where... I like to know where people are from. Oh. She got, like, this exotic name. I'm thinking she's, like, some girl from, like, some country in Africa, you know? Like, a queen? No. She was born in Ohio. She's in Ohio. All right, so it's called Not Now, I'm Busy. Title of the album. Oh, no. Don't tell me that shit and I'm record, man. Guys, I forgot to rate the last one. Didn't I? How much do you love me? I'm going to give that an eight. Right, let's try this again. My name is John Lucas. I'm from Western Massachusetts. I didn't know that. Uh, by the time you get this video, it might be too late. I did something really, really bad, man. I killed somebody tonight. Yeah. I did. And I don't know if I should have did it, but... I felt like it was necessary, you know what I mean? The person who I was, the whole me. Yeah, see, I realized that everything I ever thought I knew about myself was wrong. And I realized that I had to sacrifice who I was for who I want to become. And when I say not now, I'm busy. That means I was too busy to face myself. Too busy to face the truth. And the truth is, the old me got taken advantage of. The old me got f over. The old me got beat down. The old me got sh on and spit it on and lied to. And even though I tried to forgive and force myself to live with the hurt that I hide behind a smile, while the water overflows as I hold my breath and block my nose in hopes that I do not drown. I realized that I was lost and couldn't be found And I needed to heal, I just didn't know how So I grabbed that gun and did what had to be done Cause I couldn't hide, I couldn't run I just had to die and every drop of blood Was for every tear that I ever bottled up Now it's a flood So f who you thought I was, you piece of shit. The old me says please forgive The new me says eat it. The old me was supposed to give The new me, the old you sh The old me just don't exist so
fancy. All right, guys, that's not now. I'm busy. That's a wrap. Um, okay, I'm going to be honest. I like other albums of his better. However, there are like four or five songs in here that made this album. And they are 17, 24 Hours to Live. Um, what's that? Waiting on this and I'm ill. And put me on. I like to put me on too. Okay, maybe the it was maybe there was more than four songs. I, I like the album, but the, the ones that I don't like, like I really didn't like. Um you know, there's a certain kind of joiner I like. So it doesn't mean that the other songs are bad. It's just not my type of joiner. Overall, I'm gonna give it an eight. An eight. Um Yeah, that was my first long actual and I don't think I'll be doing this again. Maybe J. Cole. J. Cole, I will. But see, the thing is, it's like, there's not many artists that I like most, like, that I would like their most of their album. And, like, if you don't like all the songs, but you're doing a reaction, you have to sit through it. And, like, this one, there was a couple that was painful for me, guys. There was a couple that were painful. And I don't want to do that for albums. But, but it did just get released, and I needed to do reactions. So I suffered through this for you guys. And yeah, I'm going to upload it. Guys, subscribe, comment, like, share. Give me more suggestions. Uh, more rap. Moroccan, my Moroccan fans. I need to get more r Moroccan um, rap reactions. So please drop them in the comments. I'm trying to get back to the reactions. It's been hard because I've been busy with the vlogs. If you're not subscribed to that channel, it's in the description. Also in the corner, this corner, or this corner above my head is my IG. You can follow me on IG, guys. All right, take care.